Hey YouTube, um, this video, uh, what is up? In this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of HF Miles unreleased background uh, costume stuff. Remake of HF Miles stuff. If you want to know the original guy, if you want to know the original guy and his and the glitched stuff that he released. It's been deleted recently, but I found a few levels so you can re-get them in. And a few were made by me. So I'm going to show you the levels. Okay, so first of all you want yeah, I'll have some uh, level, I have some links to uh, I have some links in the description below to levels made by the two videos by Glitch Master 7 on the levels, the original ones, so you have an idea what I'm talking about. Okay, so get to get the backgrounds so you wanna end the no. Uh, what you want to do is uh, in the description I have an lp.me link to uh, some levels to a few levels to get the backgrounds you want to click on the one that's next that says playlists next to it so what you want to do is you want to go to the actual queue So when you queue the playlist, it'll have these in it, and just these. So what you want to do is you want to not play it, you want to go to, you want to hit square to visit the planet, and then hit square again, and where it says copies, copy it. And you want to choose an empty so yeah, what you want to do is you want to copy the level into one of your craters. An empty one would do just fine. And my craters seem to be full. And then what you want to do is you want to back them up. Hit the backup button and then just make a new save. Yeah, so once you're done with that, you just want to make a new save, but for now, let's demonstration I'll just overwrite some of my old backups. It's not like I'll need them again. And then you can delete it and then go on to the next one. The reason we're doing this is because just in case the levels do get deleted, at least you have something to go off of. Like at least you have the thing, the levels, so you can yeah. Use them.
I'll show you what to do from there. One while I do the other two. Okay, so once you've got them all backed up, all you have to do is find an empty crater. Just choose an empty crater. I'll use this one. And then hit the import button. Or hit square and then import. And then hit the import button. And then just excuse us while doing it. Oh, I have two. LBP1 tutorial saves. For this one, I'm going to use the LBP1 tutorial background. And then once you get here, you can edit it and then use it however you want. Okay, so once you've got them all done, in fact, I'm nearly done. Yeah, I hate how they don't let you change your minds right after you. Hold on, I'll be back. I hate, I hate how you can't back out and change your mind. Yeah, as you can see, I've just edited the level and then. And also. Normally when I do, normally when I use this background, you're not allowed to go as far as this layer. Because I, option. So yeah, normally you can't go as far as this wall. Because I set a restriction limit, but here you can. Now to get the music, which is in here. Just want to go back to pod and then in the description I have more lbp.me links they're never going to end yeah you just want to go into that link and then queue that level go back to your queue yeah it's here and then just go to just want to hit X on the left. You just got to play the level. Okay, so once you get here, uh, yep. If you want to listen to the music, you need to press the green button for them. And to collect them, of course, you press the red button. This is the left bank 2 8 bit remix from LBP2 intro. And right now it's overlapping the main music. In fact, I'm not going to add any main music for the whole of the video. Just gotta hit the button to collect it. It will, it will let you collect it, but I, but I didn't, wasn't bothered to delete the objects. Then here's my advice part one music. You can collect it here. And then here's the my advice part two music. 
here's my advice part two again but but the difference is it's interactive and you can tweak the instruments to however it fits your level here's my advice three version one the, the difference between version one and two is this one doesn't have the drum beat to it like the yeah and this one does Here's the LBP2 pod music. It's interactive so you can tweak it. Here's the LBP3 pod music. Again, it's in also interactive. Here's the credits music. It's the only one that you can use in create mode without it kicking you back into the pod. See, I'm not sure why they deleted the levels. So to get, to get the unreleased costumes and pod elements and all that. I just want to carry on playing the level. And then here I'll have some uh, stuff. As in, yeah. I'm going to show you this first. Okay, so once you get here, this is a thing here. It's random. Yes, it's made by Land Surfer 2000. Okay, I think we've got the hang of the basics. Yeah, we have. We want some more objects. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, there was another one. I might go to get to one on two for impressions. And then. For the music, you can just skip it because I already did that. Here's the, here's the jackpot head thing as a costume piece. The Emerald Witch costume pieces. The, here's the Pinky Buffloons Baylor costume. The Vera Blonsky from the Baylor. So we've got Vera Blonsky's here, followed by Bella Pinky Buffoons, and yeah, a bunch of stuff. Here's Emerald Jester. Here's the newspaper streamers costume bits, or swoop. And here's the decorations. The pod, here's the pod decorations. Here's the game gameplay decorations. As in like yeah. They can't show them all because yeah, stupid for monster. Here's the random bits things. Back the background decorations. And well not all are shown. Here's the LVP1 graffiti decorations from Metropolis, I think. Here we go. This is this is my favourite bit. The skins. Here's the texture of the skin. Yeah, what you want to do is you want to hop into the character changes. It'll take you to this thing. It'll transform you to the sack one. All you have to do is hit save costume. Here's a cardboard skin. Skin, there's brass skin, there's sticker panel skin, which is awesome. It's x-ray skin, it's invisible skin even. Yeah, I like that one. You can spook out your friends by being just that guy. Here's a sponge skin. I just want to make myself visible. Here's a sponge skin. Fishnet skin, is the red sticker panel skin, the cracked eye skin, dark mellow, and hologram.
hologram one is kind of cool because in create mode if you touch plant if you touch colored plasma it take it trans it changes the color of your hologram and finally here's the costume i mean cactus skin here's the power up costumes here's the pop it power up do the same thing here the pop it power up one that gotta get your one one two four normally wears change myself back. This is a Grabnator's power up costume. Okay. Grappling hook, scuba gear, Cranator and Blink Ball. Yeah. This one's the one that I normally wear on my headpiece. Can skip through this. Because I already gave it away. Yeah, to get the other stuff, you just want to hit return to pod. Right, to get the pod element, you want to hit return to pod. And then you want to go into that link. Key, no, and then it'll take you back to the level badge, I think it will. We'll see. Yeah, it takes you back to the level badge, so what I want to do is you want to replay it, and then this time go through the second level link. And then you just want to... Or should I disable sack pocket then? You can just run through this. Yeah. And then all you have to do is... Go to one of, and then you just want to go to the second level link. This one's the one made by Man Doggy. So all you have to do is hit triangle, hit continue, and then it'll take you to the level made by Man Doggy. And all you have to do is, oh, pick up the prizes. Here's the pod elements they just pick that I just picked up. I've no idea what that is. Yeah. And I'm going to show you um I'm going to show you the hologram thing. The hologram skin because it's awesome. Okay, so once you get here, you can just back out to go to your moon. And then, and if you want to change the colour of your hologram skin, I'll show you what to do from there. You just want to, it's very simple, actually. Oh, wait, no, this time. Now I'm going to change the background, actually. Of the area that I'm doing thingy in. Okay, so, yeah. If you want to change the colour of your hologram skin, as you can see, I'm, I remade the FX skin using that. All you have to do is take out some sticker panel. Or in fact, just any material would do. Light and but sticker panel's awesome because you can tweak the brightness. So you want to select the colour of your choice. And then get out the plasma tool. Set it on plasma. Jump into it. And here you go. like if you want to get the other one 
we want to get the if you want to get the FX skin with hologram set this is the normal hologram skin you just wanna let's start with a fresh one just wanna set the brightness to zero and then you just wanna take out plasma pop in and no, in fact, you want to get out. Uh, you want to. We're going to have to use one of the dev only things. I'll have. I'll have a link to the color tweaker inside the description. The level that has the color tweaker. So to use it, you want to take out a microchip. And then you want to take out the colour tweaker, and then right after, back out, pause, save, and then take out your poppet cursor and hover over it, and then it'll kick you out, and then when you go back in, it'll be okay. I think it. I think it's okay because I used the back, but normally it won't be okay. And then you just want to get out a few batteries. And then... The top one is meant to be red value. The middle one's the green value and the bottom one's the blue value. Here's a reminder. So you can get your accurate colour of hologram skin. Like what? If you turn all three batteries down to zero. Then jump in. You remade the FX skin. Then you can... Yeah, it's awesome. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, tip, I mean glitch, giveaway. Comment, like, subscribe, and see you guys around. Okay, goodbye.